The final SAOLicization War of Underworld final trailer. Kirito, it's time to wake up. So what's up guys, Fox near. SAO Season 3 is almost back. So much freaking hype. They were like, how many SAO reveals should we show them? A1 Pictures? Yes. Since they already teased you enough, this will be a non-spoiler breakdown. So definitely go god mode on that like, ring the bell, and let's dive into this. But really quickly, a thank you to Bookwalker for sponsoring this video. Definitely check them after for all your SEO light novels and manga needs. Kicking this off, the lovely Goddess Asuna. Oh, she is super pissed. Goddess smash right in the kisser. So this trailer is filled with a lot of previous shots, some of them extended like this Asuna one. Then for Klein and Agio, the SEO bros teaming up for this. But hey Klein, aren't you a guilt leader? Where are your guys? Next to up, Liz and Silica-chan kicking some tail. Come on, the spin-off anime for their series, when? The Sleeping Knights are here too. It really sucks so much seeing them without Yuki, especially after just watching the Mother's Rosario arc again. Oh yeah, so it was cry time for like the 10th time. Alright, getting juicy, Burkholi vs God Vector. You knew this showdown was coming. And goddamn, look at how gorgeous this looks. I'm calling it now, expect some god tier animation here. I need to know the name for the animator from this. Thank you so much. That said, they definitely showed too much. You can see Burkholi missing a certain something. Definitely taking a page out of the Kirito playbook. Anyway, Shedda and Iskan. My awesome Claymore and Pyro are back. Come on, they definitely need to give Shedda her own figure. As for Mr. Bacon Booty, looks like this guy's got a Gia's problem. Then for a different evil, D returns. Again with those sausage fingers. So last trailer, a lot of you guys pointed out Leafa getting the hentai treatment. Let me reassure you, this is probably the most risque scene from the upcoming stuff. So don't worry. And if you're into this type of stuff, enjoy. Next up, Red Knights. More of these guys showing up. I got a feeling that after a little while, they're gonna start feeling like red stormtroopers. As for Klein freaking out, realizing something. See, you should have brought your buddies. You even have Asuna staring down this pure evil man. The insane Visago returns, where you really can't keep a good nutcase down. And there will be a lot of pain here, Asuna getting sliced in two, almost. Better not, you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Then for Gabriel over here, looking a little different, a little bit more normal. What incarnation is this? But back to Asuna freaking the hell out, telling someone to stop. Naturally, based on how this is sliced, it looks like a reaction to Potato Kirito being wheeled in. Someone go ahead and grab one of those swords and stick it up with Zago's mm -mm. Meanwhile, at the Ocean Turtle. Looks like Kiku, Higa, and Rinko are doing something involving the three goddesses and Kirito. Hmm. Anyway, my third favorite goddess. Sorry, Leafa. She ain't looking so hot. So many blight sticking out. It actually reminds me of their little adventure at the World Tree. But don't you worry. You should be looking forward to seeing Leafa's action scenes. You got the bloody juices coming out. Ugh. Oh yes, I'm definitely getting her goddess figure. Next up, second favorite goddess is Shinon. I was like, why? Why did you show her sniper? Why even bother rearranging the scenes? So yes, you could clearly see Shinon's weapon switching in the underworld. Release recollection, sniper mode. She's a better sniper anyway. I also just got done rewatching the GG arc, so I'm definitely ready to see the Shinon sniper return. Ooh, and what's this? Renly protecting Tisei. As for the Red Knights without helmets, at first I was like, did Rain make it into the anime? Which is a redhead girl from one of the SAO games. But no, should be very interesting. As for Liz crying here, poor Liz. I know you feel bad, but come on, you gotta pull it together. As for Alice, they're already showing Alice riding away here. Unfortunately for any Alice fans, I really suggest not expecting much from her at this point. Next up, oh snap, potato on the ground, he's fallen. I activate my blue eyes white sword? The thing is still broken here. Then Asuna dropping her sword, don't weaken your incarnation, don't give in. This whole scene is just heartbreaking. You got Asuna pleading that she'll give anything, including her life and heart. So please, wake up Kirito. Next up, gun is Asuna, Leafa, and Shinon glowing. Let our powers combine, Captain Miracle. You even have poor Alice crying here. Really, the water works for everyone. And don't worry, I guarantee you're gonna be joining in too. Ooh, I found a shiny rare Kirito. This guy's totally mine. She got so many hands here joining the bloody right one, including a Yujiro looking one. So I'm not gonna give it away, but I'm sure practically any of you could roughly imagine what's happening here. Don't screw this up, A1 Pictures. By the way, ooh, a mysterious person reflected here. So I'm really curious, especially from anime-only SAO fans. Did this show way too much? 
I think three times here they went too far. One, the Broccoli thing. Two, Shinun Sniper. And three, one that I can't even point out or is just gonna give it away. By the way, hopefully you did notice a new ending in the background titled I Will. Definitely let me know your thoughts on it. For me, I need to see the actual song and the actual visuals that go with it. Unfortunately, I think it was definitely overpowered by all the lines here and then it being followed up by Raona's song. Anyway, at the very end here, you simply have SAO World of Underworld. They still are showing you the last season text here. Unfortunately, there's still so many people confused about this. This is only going to be the final chapter for SAO Season 3 stuff. You could actually go ahead and check out my whole video on stuff they could do past Season 3 stuff. By the way, even more fun, I will be reviewing this last SAO chunk weekly. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not going to be getting any sleep. And really quickly, thank you to Bookwalker for sponsoring. Go ahead and head over, check any SEO manga or light novel. You could check out the upcoming Season 3 stuff. Or even better, I suggest SEO Progressive for any Asuna and Kirito fan. That's going back to Uncrad floor by floor. Just use my code FOXIN to get $5 off. And by the way, you can use this awesome discount for any book, not just SEO. Just go ahead and click the link down below. Anyway, how hyped are you? What do you want to see the most? The goddesses in action, Berkoli, or Kirito's return? Definitely be sure to subscribe for more juicy anime videos. Do watch my final Tower of God video till season 2. And there's also my video about what comes after SAO season 3. And I'll see you guys later.